we have a lot of interest in investment, which means opportunity. And they're the exact kind of jobs that could be north of 100,000 a year coming into our state. This is the future economy that we want to be a part of. As Indiana looks forward to uh, a few past, past the pandemic, state officials hope a new tool can help bring more businesses to the state. CBS 4 State House reporter Kristen Eskow shows us what the new innovation development district could mean for their communities. A new Indiana law allows the state to create areas known as innovation development districts to help spur economic development. One of those may be coming to this area of western Boone County, possibly stretching across 4,000 to 7,000 acres of land. This land is primed for that type of new development to come in. Local and state officials say it's not yet known exactly what that new development could be, but confirm the Indiana Economic Development Corporation has had discussions about purchasing this land near Lebanon. Right off of I-65, which is one of the reasons why Boone County has been growing, is our proximity to Lafayette, up to Chicago, um, down into Indy. They say one option for this land is to turn it into a new innovation development district. Those districts can now be created after state lawmakers pass new legislation this session. What I would say that, that it allows us to do is, is work with a certain level of speed um, as well as flexibility. Mark Woski of the Indiana Economic Development Corporation says the new districts capture some tax revenues that stay within the district to fund new development. Some have raised concerns about local control, but Woski points out local revenues stay within the community and calls the districts a partnership between state and local governments. Earlier this week, Governor Eric Holcomb said he believes the options lawmakers approved this session have helped make the state more competitive for big projects. We're in an unprecedented position to compete for some of the biggest projects in the world, and we have to be ready to do that. Now, the state has not selected any areas just yet to become innovation development districts. Now, as for this land here in western Boone County, some residents do have concerns. An online petition calling for the saving of this farmland has gained more than 1,500 signatures so far. In Boone County, Kristen Eskow, CBS 4 News.